All right, happy Tuesday night to everybody who is on um, live watching tonight here on the Zoom. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Rihanna Franco, Superstar Director of Squad Goals here in Whittier, California. Um, I do a weekly toolbox training for my Squad Goals, that's the name of my group, and I thought I'd open it up to the OC Sense family as well as the Director Share page. Because I had um, mentioned it and a few of the girls on here asked um, for more information on it. So I thought, hey, why not walk them through it so that they can go set theirs up as well as um, as well as for them to be able to teach their team. So before we jump in, what is You Me Who? Some of you guys may have jumped on curious, not really knowing what it is. You Me Who is a website, not an app yet. I'm hoping one day they become an app, but still to this day, they're not an app. They're a website, youmehoo.com, Y-O-U-M-E-W-H-O.com, youmehoo.com. It's a website where it allows you to um, upload all of your inventory for a couple reasons. For maybe you just wanted to keep track of your inventory, that's fine. It keeps, you'll see when I bring, bring it up, what I'm talking about. And it also allows you to sell your current inventory and it keeps track of all your inventory amounts. It has description, it has pictures. It's very fun, it's very easy. And it made my life, thank you, Jennifer. It made my life super easy when it comes to inventory. Um, first of all, there is a um, free trial, 14 day free trial. If you like it after we put it together today or after you see the breakdown, there is an $8 a month charge or a $60 a year one. And that's the one that I do because I use this so much that I don't mind paying the $60. I make the $60 um, back the same day, <laughs> the same day I do my sale. So for the whole year, I make it up and I'm pretty sure that you guys would love it too. Um, have any of you guys used You Me Who before? If you have, put it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. If you have not, I'm interested to hear that as well. Um, so again, 14 day free trial. When we jump in, I'm going to, Gina, right? We love it. You never used it, but you used it, Jennifer, but need a refresher. Okay. Um, remember, if you start it today, you have 14 days. What I encourage you to do um, is use it, get a link, get your thing set up today, get it out to your people, and we'll explain more in a second, and use it within that 14 day trial and really see if this is something that you'd be interested in using, okay? Because there is a charge once you start using it after the 14 days. It's either $8 a month, month which is nothing to have this type of service, um, or $60 a year, which of course you save money when you pay all at once. Um, the good thing about this is, because we know at, um, with Sensi, we have to stay in compliance when we're talking about inventory. This site we can use and we can message privately with the information one-on-one. -on -one. We cannot post this on our stories, on our social media, Facebook, Instagram. We can't put our link to our shopping inventory, our inventory shop. We cannot put that link on a public platform. It has to be one-on-one, -on -one. messenger, email, text, one-on-one. -on -one. Can't be a group email, can't be your VIP group. Has to be one-on-one, -on -one, okay? So, um, this app allows, I mean, this uh, website allows an option for us to be able to do that, which is nice. We want to stay in compliance, not because, um, oh, we might get caught, but just because the we're, we're keeping the integrity of the company. So with this app, we're able to do that. So let's go ahead and jump right on in. Do you guys have, yeah. Valerie, you've never heard it. I'm excited for you to see, girlfriend. You have inventory, right? How many of you guys have inventory? Comment in the section if you have inventory at your house. We're getting constant inventory, right? We get inventory when we close parties, we get our host rewards, we get our half off rewards. Um, so we always have inventory. The closet to my left has um, all my bars, my room sprays. Exactly, Valerie. Okay, so you're going to love it. And Gabriela, you are, um, same thing. You guys are going to love this. Okay, if you haven't used it yet. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Do you guys have a device set aside? <laughs> Jolinda, let's go ahead and let's get rid of that in this 14 days, girlfriend. Let's get let's get rid of it. And what you might okay, let me back up one step before I share my screen. You may say, 
Well, what does that benefit me? It benefits you because you have inventory. If you sell that, you could turn around and put that into new sales, which equals new PRV, which equals new points for the new incentive, right? So we're sitting on a hundreds of dollars worth of inventory, right? For the most part, some of us are. Um, with our host rewards, with our half off rewards, with things that we get that we haven't sold, that we bought for events that maybe we stocked up on. We're sitting on hundreds of dollars that are not making us any money, right? Exactly, Jolinda. <laughs> um, you can um, do it for PRV. Now look, do what you want. It's your inventory, your stuff, however, whenever, whenever. When that money comes in from these sales, you can keep it yourself, do what you want, go get your mani petty, treat yourself a little bit, but I encourage you to flip it. You don't have to, but you, it's, it's a smart thing to do because you're not losing anything, especially if it's half off items and host reward items, you are profiting. Okay, so treat yourself if you want, but also try to put it back in because every point counts for this incentive trip. You may miss level two by five points. You may, and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have spent that money I got from you, me, who, whatever. Okay, <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and share the screen. I'm going to share, share, share. Okay. All right. So Yumi Who, I was looking at some stuff right now. Okay, Yumi Who, Y-O-U-M-E-W-H-O dot com. You're going to see, let me move this over. You're going to log in. You're going to choose. You're going to enroll for your 14 days. Wait, let me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. How many of you guys are going to walk through this right now and set it up? as we're going, did you guys get it? If you have another device and you're walking through this each step, comment on the side um, if you need me to slow down or if you don't understand something. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to have every single person individually set it up, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So if you are gonna be setting this up, hurry up and jump in and, and sign up for the free 14 day trial. Click, 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 it's super easy. You'll set up later, you only have one device. Okay, Val, that works too. Take your notes if you're not doing it live, okay? So let's go ahead and go back and share the screen. You're gonna go in, you are going to register for your free 14 days, or if you wanna just jump into the $8, or if you wanna jump into the 60 days, I mean the $60 for the year, okay? Now this is what your screen is gonna look like, okay? So you have all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Did you guys know that you, me, who, does all kinds of direct sales catalogs. They have online catalogs and I'll show you what I mean. Look at, they have Color Street, Perfectly Posh, Pharmacy, Sensi, Shopkins. Shopkins, that's interesting. Um, Us Born, Color, you know, they have everything. We're not too worried about that. We only wanna see Sensi, right? So I'm just, I just wanted to show you. How do you create your very first list? How do you start by um, opening up your very first inventory? You're gonna hit your list up here, okay? So click your list. These are all the ones that I've done before. I keep them just for inventory, I mean, for note purposes. You're gonna hit create new list. Okay, so then it's gonna take you to this screen. You're gonna name your list. I'm, I just happen to, I'm gonna probably get this one going, but I'm gonna do like a mock one for you guys right now. I'll just say August. You're gonna name your list, oopsie, spell it right. August, oh, hi, Chihuahua, help me Lord. August blowout, we'll just say, okay? No big deal. Description, right below that, you can say whatever you put here is gonna be right below the name of the title. And I'm gonna say, um, make sure, and you'll see why, make sure to request invoice when you're done shopping. I'll show you why I'm putting this, okay? Now we're gonna scroll down, inventory. I promise this isn't hard, you guys. It's very self-explanatory. Um, enable quantity. If you have more of one quantity of something, you wanna enable that because you want people to be able to shop. If they want 10 of your sweet pea and vanilla that you have in stock, you want them to be able to see that you have 10 so they can pull from whatever you have. So I always leave this on, enable quantity. Now you can, you can opt to hide the quantity from public. 
I don't know why you would want to do that, but I don't, I don't ever hide it. And then if you want to enable extra quantity, which, what does that mean? That means like, oh, can they request more? No, they can't because I'm only selling what I have in stock. Why would you want to do that? You would want to do that if you want to add from the catalog, like order more. You can say, oh, how many, add 10 Luna for me, please. Then you would put that on the side and you would do a separate order. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if it does. Okay, right below that, enable price. I always have this one checked, okay? And then I will uncheck copy item catalog price when I'm doing a flash sale or something like that. If I wanted to show catalog price, I'll leave that box checked. It pulls up automatically what is on the website. Um, Jolinda, you have your hand raised. You have, do you have a question? I, I can't see my chat box right now. Do, do, do. I'm not sure. Where's my chat box? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Hold on. No, okay, perfect. So um, you can hide the price from the public. I don't wanna do that. I want them to be able to see what I'm selling it for. Hide catalog price in item detail. I don't want the price in the detail. I don't care. The, the, what I want in the detail of the item is just the description of the scent or the, of the warmer or the buddy or whatever it is that I'm uploading, okay? So I wanna enable price. I don't wanna, um, copy item price from the catalog. I wanna do my own prices because I'm gonna do a sale. Again, this is a personal special and cannot be shared on social media. Now, if you're gonna just post this to your, your customers, you can leave the copy item on, um, the, the price on and just share whatever price is in the catalog. You can do that. Okay, selling time frame claims. You could turn this off. If you don't, oh, let me let these people in real quick. Mm -hmm. If you don't want a time frame on your sale, just click off. But if you want to say, hey, this sale is from Friday morning till Sunday night, this is where you'll keep this on. Okay. And you will choose your start date and you will choose your end date. I like to have the end date, the start and end times because it, it'll, um, at the top of the sale, it'll show the rundown time. So it kind of creates a sense of urgency and it reminds the people that, hey, the sale is about to end in two hours or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to just do, I'm going to do start time, start date, actually, because I probably won't finish this until tomorrow. I'm just showing you guys the outline of it. Okay, and then I'm going to have it start, people get off of work, you can do it in the morning and run, however, but I'm going to do... What's tomorrow? Wednesday. I'll just do 6 p.m. It starts at 6 p.m. Okay. My sale starts at 6 p.m. And then it says half forever sale without a timer. No, I don't want that. I don't want a forever sale. I want it to end. Okay. So I'm going to pick an end date. I'm going to pick my end date of the 22nd. I don't usually do them that long, but whatever. At 11 p.m. Okay, so now I have my start time, I have my end time. If you don't want to start an end time, you can have the sale go on forever and they can just keep buying from your inventory at the sale price you have until it's gone. That's what that would be, okay? You can also add discounts. You can say um, fixed price sale, a percentage off when they, they buy 10%, I mean, they'll get 10% off their order. You can do a sale like that. You can do a flat discount. Whatever you buy today is going to be $10 off. Buy one, get one free template. Uh, buy three, get one free, buy five, get one free. They have the templates set up that are in our bundle and save that we can automatically choose if you want to do that. Okay. I don't do that because I already do sale prices, but this is where you would find it. Like if you're like, oh, how do I do just like a 10% off sale? You would come here on your setup and do add a discount. I'm not going to do that though, but you could if you wanted to. <clears throat> okay. Rules. This is, you know, what they follow when they shop. Allow multi-quantity claims and wait lists. Mm. this I, I choose back and forth. What is the wait list? The wait list means when you start a sale, somebody claims an item. If they don't pay, it'll show item claimed, but it's not available. I don't give my customers very long to pay because these are sales, right? So if they claim a bunch of stuff and my people, my other people can't shop from it because it's in their car and they haven't paid me for hours i'm empty in that car and i'll show you how to do that in a minute in a bit i would say you want to do a 24-hour sale you want to okay make sure they pay by 24 hours or their cart's gonna end i do two hours 
I do a two hour sale and I'll say, if your cart isn't paid within two hours, it's gonna be empty. And we have to em empty it manually. And I'll show you that in a second. Allowing wait lists means somebody can claim one of those items that are claimed but not paid for yet. And if that, dro if that item drops, it goes into their cart. Does that make sense, guys? Um, are you guys following? How's it going? Let me know in the chat. I have it up on the side. I want to, I don't want to lose you guys. I want you guys to understand. Okay, cool. Um, so you can allow wait lists to where people can claim items that are not paid for yet, but once they're paid for, it goes away. If somebody drops it, the next person in line, it will be added to their cart, which is cool. Marie, you missed the beginning. Okay. I recorded it friend and I will upload it on my YouTube. So anything you guys missed in the beginning, you can rewatch. Okay. If you don't want to just say, I mean, if you don't want a wait list and sometimes I, I, I don't put a wait list just because I don't want to deal with it. I'm like, I forget it. I don't want a wait list. I don't want people waiting in line for items to pay for. You know what I mean? I'd rather just get it over with. So that's when I would disable um, high price and shopping cart. I don't want to do that because I want people to see what their totals are as they're shopping. If you hide their price in the shopping cart, they can't see what their subtotal is as they're shopping. Okay. Uh, notifications. I hate emails. I hate the red bubble. I hate that. I don't need to know all this stuff. I don't, you can receive, and this is what I do. Once they initially click that link and start shopping, I want to know. I get that email. Um, Vanessa has started her shopping. So now I know she's in there looking. Okay. And then I want to receive, receive a email when their cart is emptied. Like if they took out stuff, I want to know too. Okay. That's why it's checked. <clears throat> and then I want to receive a checkout invoice request. Once they're done shopping at the end of the thing, I'll give you guys my link so you guys can click it in real time to see what it looks like as well after this. Once you, um, once they click that, you will get an email that said so-and-so is ready for their invoice to check out. If they don't hit the request button for that invoice, it just stays in the triage, which I'll show you right now. So it looks like they're just sitting there in line with their cart, like at Target, you're just standing around in the store. That's what it, what, that's the visual of that. Okay. Um, exclude item images and check out email. You might want to do this if you don't want your, um, your email to be slow when it's uploading the invoice, because sometimes images slow your email down. I don't care. I don't check it. Receive frequent all activity email. I don't want to know if somebody put something in their cart. I want to know when they started shopping. I want to know that when they're ready to check out. That's all I want to know. I don't care what they took out, what they put in. I just want to know when they start and when they finish. Okay. Be warned that sometimes buyers do not check out. This is what I was saying. Always refer to manage transaction page for latest updates, which I will show you guys. Okay, manage uh, transactions. Show five color claim statuses. I will show you guys that right now when once we're done. Uh, show smaller claim statuses to guess. I don't care if they're, they're they have one item claim. I don't want to see it. I don't care. Okay, so buyers info to collect. I always get their email up front and their name always up front. This is where where you can choose and you can customize how you want your experience to be for them checking out. Okay, I want them to ask, I wanted to ask them, do I want this to be direct shipped or picked up? Okay, why? Because I'm charging them to ship it. If they wanna pick up, I'm not charging them. So my um, pickup fee, I mean, my direct ship is about eight to $10, depending on where I'm shipping to. And I'll say that. Okay, I want their mailing address always and forever, especially if it's a new customer, because I encourage my customers to send this link to their friend, and I'll show you why right now. I always want their phone number. This is why. VIP group or party hostess name. I want that to be checked. Are you giving a referral from somebody else? <clears throat> Did Irene invite you to come and shop? If so, I want you to put her name there because Irene is going to get a referral gift from me. Okay, or it can go towards her party. You may say, how is it going to her, towards her party if it's um, actual inventory? Like I said, say they buy $60 worth of stuff from your inventory. You now have $60 to put into Irene's party. Does that make sense? So you can order whatever you want to replenish your inventory. It's going to come to you. It's your stuff because they bought from your inventory. Now you just turn around and put that back into Irene's party. 
so she gets the credit. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up in the chat if it makes sense. Okay, next you would go down to payment methods. Okay, good. This does not charge them, okay? <clears throat> this doesn't charge them. This just is telling you how they want to pay. Okay, so I always include Apple Pay. Is it my preferred method? No, it's not. I always include um, Google, pay, Facebook Pay too. Yeah, <laughs> Google Pay. Uh, is it my preferred? No. Zelle is my preferred, so I want to click on that. I would prefer them to send me Zelle, but they could send me any of these other ones as well, okay? Um, like I said, they are not paying just because you're clicking this. This is just telling you what they want, how they want to pay for their order, okay? They don't check out here. They don't check out through this app yet, which I'm okay with because I don't want to be charged for them <laughs> right now. I can do it on my own, okay? Now, this is customizable. You can put out interested in more income. You can change, oopsie, um, how it's worded, interested in more income. Um, are you, we can do, are you ready um, to get groceries on Sensi? I'm not really gonna put that, but you know what I mean. I'm just telling you like how you can customize it. Okay, <clears throat> so then here, are you interested in free products? You can change that too. Do you want to stop giving me your commission? You can make it fun, you could customize it however, right? And then you can add your own questions. You don't have to use these. You can use like what, what I just said you, and then customize your own, okay? Um, if you go on vacation, you can pause your, your, your link so that people don't order from it. Um, you can hide the catalog link. That's all, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You can have a password for your people. I don't see why you would want to do that because you're literally giving one-on-one -on -one the people what you want. Whatever. Okay, so now we're done setting it up. Here we go. August blowout. It starts in 23 hours, 36 minutes, 19 seconds, and you see how it's rolling down the time already. Here is where I said make sure to request invoice. Um, I typo when you're done shopping, okay? Because this reminds them, oh, they click, 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 and now they're waiting. No, make sure to request your invoice because you're not going to get an invoice from me if you don't request it. Okay, now let me take you to. Well, let me show you. Press to add items. Let me do this part first. Okay, okay, here we go. You wanna add, what do you guys have in stock? Wax, you guys have wax bars, right? You wanna set the tab to where you can see where every single um, tab has wax. You can do warmers on one, you could do room spray, you could do body, you can do pet. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do custom name. We're gonna do wax bars, okay? And then barred, whatever, typo, it is what it is. Okay, so then I'm, I know I'm going to have some room sprays. Okay, submit. See, all of your tabs are starting to come up. Okay, we're going to do diffusers, whatever. I'm just showing you guys so that you can see. Categorize so that your customers can shop easily. Maybe they don't want to look at everything that you have in your house. They want to um, shop fragrance flowers, like Melissa said. Okay, they don't want to look at anything else. So they, they'll be able to just click that and go straight to that, okay? Now we're gonna add some new items. Here's where we start having fun. Um, you don't need the browser save button. That's, you don't need it. Add a single item, you can do that. Add photo items, I'll show you import CSV. You don't need to import CSV first and foremost because the Sensi catalog is uploaded already here. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna add from catalog. Click that, okay? From catalog. Oh, <laughs> we gotta pick Sensi. Then you pick Sensi, okay? Cause there's other ones right here. So we're gonna do Sensi catalog, voila. All of Sensi's inventory in their catalog and even old items and LTO items, there's gonna be some items that you're, you're not gonna have here. Okay, let's say we want to do um, hibiscus flower because we have some of those. We just type it in and it drops down all of the hibiscus items that we have, right? So I'm gonna do Darlene Dahlia. 
Okay, so it brings it up on this side. It's not added yet. This is what they're what is added on this side. Okay. Here's the viscous um, flower. So I'm just going to click on there. It's going to come to this side. Okay. Now, how many do I have? Uh, I have five or six, whatever. I'm, I'm going to do a sale price. So I'm going to do them for $13 each. So I would change the price there. Saves it automatically. Okay. Um, so, well, I wanted to put that under flower. Oh, it is under flower. flowers. Okay. So now I want to add some wax bars, <laughs> wax bars, okay? I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say, maybe I, want, I have some Luna that I wanna get rid of, right? So I'm gonna click here, here, it adds it here. How many do I have? I have whatever, let's say I have six. I'm gonna change the price to $4 because I'm having a sale, okay? And then make sure when you are adding items that you're under the right tab if you're not under the right tab it's not a huge deal you can move it let watch let me show you so say i add uh amazon whatever say i add this here it's not a it's not a fragrance flower how do i move it i would hit select and i would hit here and then i would do relabel okay now <clears throat> I want to put it in fragrance flowers. Uh, merge into, oh, well, I don't have a room. I don't have a bar, a car clip one, but so I want to merge it. I want to put it into, let's just pretend that is um, the car one, whatever the car clip. Okay. Easy peasy. You just hit select and then you move it. Let me just do this because it's bugging me. Um, car bent clip. Oh my God, my mind is, I'm calling it that right now. I don't care. It is what it is. Okay, so car vent clip. Okay, so let me go here. I want to move that. We're going to do relabel. And we are going to, where did it go? Oh, there it goes. Here, voila. So now it's taken from there and it's moved to here. So if it, if it happens, you don't have to delete it and redo it. You could just move it over. Okay, making sense so far, guys? Are we on the same page? So you guys can just add there. So maybe there's going to be some times where you come across things that maybe you um, are older and not in stock anymore. For instance, I had the kangaroo. Do I still have her? Okay. No, I have Kenzie the kangaroo still, right? She's not in the catalog. And every time I try to bring her up here, she's not here. So I'm typing it in. Look, you're going to come across something that doesn't bring anything up. And now you're like, oh, great. What do I do? Here's what we do. You go to Google. Okay. And you're going to type in Kenzie. The kangaroo. Since you, it'll pop up, right? So then you click on that and go to images. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry guys, go to images. You wanna get one of the images that are already here with the background, see how the background is already um, erased. You're going to click and save image as, save it on your desktop, however you want this chat box is really, okay, and then you just save. It's gonna be saved on your desktop now or wherever you save it, okay? Go back to your Yumi Who, and now you're going to hit um, this, the little add button right here. Okay. You're going to add a single item. Tell me to slow down if I'm going too fast. Okay. Or if you missed a step, you're going to hit add image. You're going to click. Where is that? Desktop. Here she is, King, uh, Kenzie the kangaroo is gonna upload that image. Okay, automatically see how it took away the background already. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit X, saved it on here. Now I have to give her a description, right? Kenzie the kangaroo. Um, you can leave it at regular price, 100% Valerie. It's yours to do whatever you want. Okay, now what I like about this, look, it already has a description. I'm gonna copy and paste this baby, copy. I'm gonna come back to my Yumi Who. I'm gonna go into this description and I'm gonna paste it, okay? Easy peasy. 
Then it's saying, how much do you want to charge for Kenzie? I'm going to charge 25 bucks for her, whatever. Okay. You can't post this link on YouTube. Yes, I will. Um, Valerie, oh wait, your sale? No, you can't because it's public. If it's a, if it's regular price, you could, if you're talking about cat, if you're talking about catalog items, which I'll get to in a minute, if it's sale price, then no, you cannot. If you're talking about my training, yes, I'll post this on YouTube. I don't know what, <laughs> we're all kinds of ways right now. Okay, so let me move this baby up here. Okay, so then I'm going to hit um, share. No, I'm not going to hit share. I'm absolutely not going to hit share. There, it automatically saves it on there. Just exit out, just hit X, and it automatically saves it. Now, I, I put her in the wrong tab, right? So I'm going to make her a tab, and I'm going to say buddies, whatever, okay? And submit. So now I have my buddies, but I want to move this chick over. So I'm going to do select again, click, relabel. I'm going to move her to buddies. Easy peasy. Okay. Did you guys see how I did that? All right. Now, this is how you're going to upload all of your inventory. Do that with every single thing. If it's not in there, you go to Google, get your image, get your product description and your price, upload it. And then um, remember using the little plus sign, you're going to hit um, add a single item. Okay. Now, once your customers start shopping, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let me go back to my list. For instance, I did the weekend blowout. I don't remember if I did. No, let me use a different one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. January blowout sale, for example. When they start shopping, this is what it's gonna look like. Claimed. This girl never paid for her item, so it showed claim. This was, I remember her specifically, she came and did, I should have changed it. Remember the five colored things that I told you about earlier that I was going to show you, the five colored tabs or whatever it was saying when we first signed up, I mean, when we first created our list, it said, do you want to have the, the five colored um, options on? That's what they're talking about. Claimed is going to be green. Uh, it is, Carrie, it's the exact same thing. It's just a smaller version because there's no app. Um, red is sold. Um, black, I think is, um, there's sold, there's claim, there's, I'm going to show you guys right now so you can see everything, but I want to show you what it looks like to the customer when they open the page. If something's sold, that's what it's going to say. If it's claimed, but not paid for, that's what it's going to look like. And if you have your wait list, it's going to show down here, add yourself to the wait list. If this person hasn't claimed, it's very simple, Valerie. It's very, very simple. Okay, so now I want to um, I want to manage transactions. This is where you're going to see where everybody has purchased. Okay, so on this one, on this um, sale, I had 27 orders. I had some waitlist items, and then it, you can export the list to print. I only do this if it's you know just to keep track of what I've sold. Triage, this is what I mentioned earlier. You're gonna have people such as this person who come in and shop, 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 and never send the request to get the invoice, okay? It's gonna sit here in triage like you're standing in Target and nobody has helped you check out yet. That's what that is, okay? Because she forgot to hit send invoice. You wanna check on triage throughout your sale and then you can, like for this person, um, she included her email. If I didn't have her phone number, I would email her and say, hey, Kim, um, are you ready to check out? I noticed your, your cart is just um, on standby. Let me know if you're ready. And if you if they are ready, they can um, you can prompt a um, let me move this. you can prompt an invoice. Um, send me invoice. See, that's when you can click that and then it'll prompt, it'll notify you and you'll get the notification. Kim is ready for her checkout invoice. Okay, and then here's another person, Monica Diaz. She had stuff in her cart that's in triage and she never submitted for payment, okay? So this is where you would go to find the people that are kind of lollygagging around. Once purchased, it removes from the items. Once it's, um, let me show you. For example, this person, this is what, what it looks like when we get the notification that this person wants to check out. Okay, it shows you um, the order date, 
It shows you their, the customer info. She wants it direct shipped. It has her address. It has her phone number. Um, she wants to pay Venmo. Um, there's no discounts here. If there is, there would be here. And this is what she claimed. This is all the stuff she claimed. Now, here it is. This is where you're able to change your claim status. Okay, so when they first claim and you get that email that they're ready to check out, it's going to be this. It's going to look like this, claimed. She's probably going to get all kinds of emails right now, like, what is going on? <laughs> She's already paid for this in January. Um, once you send them an invoice, how do you send them an invoice now? There's, it doesn't do it, do it through you, me, who. This is where we do it on our own. The email's there, the phone number's there. For me, I just do a simple um, text. If you want to use PayPal, they have invoices. You can create your own cute one on Canva. I don't have time for that. All I want to do is I'm going to send them. Hi, Kim, thanks so much for your order. Your total is $77. I did notice that you want direct ship. That's an additional $8. So uh, your total is $85. Um, Valerie, yes, you can. You add it um, on your own. You have to add that on your own, and I'll show you. Um, you can, And then I'll say shipping is $8, so your total now is $85. Um, once you, you have two hours to pay, so I'll give them a time. 8.37 is your cutoff time. Um, if you haven't paid by then, your cart will be empty. Um, and then I'll send them, so she wants to pay Venmo. So I'll say, here's my Venmo, Venmo information. Once it's paid, your, uh, your order will go to, to pay, I mean invoiced. So once I send the invoice, this is what I do. I don't use confirmed, guys. Um, once I send them an invoice, I click that. Now it's notifying me at that point, this order is in invoiced. I invoiced her at this time. So now at that time, I'm able to see, okay, she has two hours from the time I invoiced her, okay? So now she sends me payment via Venmo. Great, I come back in and I hit pay. You don't have to do any of this, you guys. You don't have to mark them, but it helps keep track, especially when you have tons of orders coming in um, and you're like, wait, did she pay? Did I, you don't want to get fumble. You don't want to get all crazy in your head. Okay, so now I, I marked that she paid for everything. Okay, she's ready to go. She paid. Now, if it's a uh, direct ship, I leave it at this until I have packaged her order, till I have pulled it and I have boxed it up and labeled it and got it ready to ship. Okay, I don't do anything else until then because this is telling me, Re, you got to get this order taken care of. Once I package it up, if she's coming um, for porch pickup or, or whatever you want to call it, um, once I bag it up, then I do the next step. Okay. So the next step for me would be shipped. If they're, if I'm going to ship it, if I, once I put that label on it, I hit shipped. If they're coming to pick it up and they can't, I bagged it already. They came, it's gone out of my house. That's when I archive it. And I, and then it says, once you hit this Valerie, this changes your inventory totals. So yes, I'm hitting, um, archived, it's final, it's been pulled from inventory, nobody can wait list it, nobody's waiting on this, and it won't be added to anybody else's cart, and people won't be waiting because they're waiting for her to drop it out of her cart, okay? You don't have to do these steps, you guys, but it keeps you organized, and I'm a very big fan of organiz <laughs> organization. Okay, and then this last one, you can export to see what customers you have that shop in your sales, right? Um, but yeah, so that is you, me, who? Do you guys have any questions? Do you guys want to see anything else? It's very simple. Um, again, it's um, free to use for 14 days. You have your trial. You can start setting it up today. Start getting your inventory. I suggest you don't set up your 14 days till you're ready to sit your tail down and enter all of your inventory and get that link out. Oh, I was going to show you how to publish it. I didn't show you that. Um, Valerie, the cost is $8 a month or $60 a year. I do the $60 a year because I don't want to worry about it. I do use it often. So, okay. So let me go back to my list. Okay. So August blowout. Okay. Now <coughs> I want to hit this, this little, whatever this is. Yeah. Then I want to share the list. This is how I'm going to get it out. Okay, so it's going to bring up this link. This is some of the stuff that's in my sale. That's how it'll pop up. You can create a cute image. I don't have time for that. Whatever, however. Um, you can share it on Facebook, which you cannot. 
You cannot share your inventory on Facebook. So don't do that. Don't do it. Even if I don't care if it's in your Facebook VIP group, that is out of compliance. You can get a QR code um, for it that you can upload. Eh, what I, I don't use that because I, I'm sending them the direct link. This is the direct link. You click that, um, copy and paste this, right? So you would hit copy link. Okay. And then I would say, let me do this. Okay. So say I want to, oh, where's my, say I want to um, message Gabriela, right? So I want to send her my link. I'm just sending it to you so you guys can see. I hit that. Gabriela, you're going to get the link right now. <laughs> so she would get the link and it takes them directly to my page, to my sale page. Okay. This starts here, 23 hours. Da, da, da. So look. So no claims yet. I want to claim this. It, when they click it, they can see who claimed it, who's waitlisted, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, it's showing you my area because because <laughs> I'm the person, I'm the owner. But you guys get it, right? So it's easy to share. Let me, get you all. Let me get out of here. Um, your list. Okay, so you guys seen it, right? Edit, you can edit what's in your list. You can sort by alphabet. You can copy catalog prices. You can export. <laughs> you don't need to do all of that, honestly. You want to upgrade your plan. You want to de um, downgrade your plan. You want to share it. That's what we do. If you ever want to delete it, toggle the layout means it just kind of mixes things up. So when your customers see it, it's a little bit of everything. And then if you want to add new items. Do you guys have any questions for me? Super easy, right? If I use this, but sell something in a pop-up, do I have to manually edit? Yes, you do. Good question. Yes, unless you purchase it from yourself through that link, then yes, you have to manually edit it. The only time it will automatically change is if somebody clicks that link, pays and you mark it as archived and final. That's when that inventory changes. And I did mention in the beginning, maybe you just want to use this to keep track of your inventory. You can do that. So when you're when you get new product, you just update, update, update. Why would you want to do that? You would want to do that if you're out and about and somebody says, hey, do you have a Johnny Appleseed bar? I'm not sure, but here's my link. Take a look. Here's what I have in stock. And it could be all regular prices. And you could... Um, you can send it to them like that. You still can't show on a big platform what you have in inventory. You can't. It still has to be one-on-one. -on -one. Any other questions while I'm on here um, and before we end this training, I hope this was helpful and I hope to hear from you guys if you use YouMeWho because it's a huge asset and we can do it from our home. We don't have to leave our house. We can make money while we're watching TV and the orders are coming in once we share our link with individually with our customers. Any questions, any comments, anything else before we end our live? Very, you're very, very welcome, guys. Very welcome. And I hope you utilize this. Again, don't set up your 14-day trial until you are ready to sit down and enter all of your inventory. You don't want to waste those days. You want to get your inventory in. You want to talk how can you promote this on your on your social media? You can say, hey, I have a special sale happening right now message me for my link you cannot say i have an inventory sale going <coughs> going on now you cannot post the link anywhere you can talk it's all in the wording guys hey message me for a super secret sale <laughs> don't waste your 14 days ariel finish it um message me for a super cool sale message me for my secret Super top secret sale. Message me if you want Sensi now. Now is the key word. You just said now. They're not going to have to wait for shipping and all that, right? All in the wording. Be careful. <laughs> don't don't do the wrong. Don't post the wrong things. I don't want you guys to get in trouble. But I do want to hear how you guys use your Yumi Who. So if you do, I want you to. Um, Message me, let me know how it went. Message me if you have any questions. I might not be able to help you right away because I do have my own group and my own team, but I will get to you, I promise. And if you have any questions, rewatch this. I will upload it onto my YouTube probably tonight. Um, I'm gonna go make dinner. And then after that, I will upload it. Okay, guys, have an awesome night. And thank you so much for joining. Our recording is over.